Hello and welcome back everyone, my name is Seth and today we're going to be moving on to part 3 of how to make a Discord bot. In this episode I'm going to be showing you guys how to make an economy system or a uh, Discord bot currency for players to trade and gamble with. So uh, getting started, we need to do two things in this episode. One, we need to create a file that stores the data or the currency for each individual player, as well as we need to create a command which allows them to check their uh, a balance. So to create the data file, we need to go on over to new file and type money.json. This is where we will be storing the data for now. Make sure you put curly brackets in there and then save it. Next up, we need to make a new command. So right click on commands, new file, and type in balance.js. In here, we can go ahead and go to our ping command from last episode copy everything that's in there, go back to balance and paste it. Go ahead and change the module.exports.help to balance and then also I like to add bal and money. Next you can go ahead and erase everything that's in the message area. Also at the top we need to go ahead and add um, fs. We need fs for saving data. And then we also need to add the money file so that we can read the data from that file. Now in our message area, we need to go ahead and check if they are specifying a user or themselves. If args does not exist, that means they're specifying themselves. So the variable user can then equal message dot author however if the arg zero does exist it means they're specifying someone else and so variable user is going to equal one of two things message dot mentions dot users dot first or it's going to equal bot dot users dot get args zero so it's going to equal one of those two things. Next, we need to check if that user has a money account already. And we can do that by getting the money file and then checking for that user's ID. And if they don't, this is saying if they don't have a an account already, then we want to create them one. So user.id equals name and we're just going to save their name as bot.users.get uh, user.id.u uh, no dot tag that'll give us their four to four letter tag as well and then we can go ahead and also save their money amount as zero so that's if they don't have an account then we're going to save that um, and then we also need to save the data by using fs dot write file money dot json json dot string if I money error oops like that and then if error we want to console.log error okay so that's how we can save that data then um, and then if they already have an account oh no we don't need to do that if they already have an account we can just or either way if they have an account or they don't have an account if someone uses this command, chances are that means that they want to see how much they have in their account. So we want to go ahead and go ahead and oops, uh, send them a message telling them how much uh, money they have in their account. And then has money user dot id 
dot money. Oops, and we want to add another dollar sign right here. And you can call them whatever you want. And then that should be it there. So we can go ahead and save that. And then if we pull up our terminal and type node dot, that's also a quicker way of typing index.js. So you can just do node dot and it will load everything. So if we go ahead and grab our Discord and go ahead and run the balance or bal, bal works too it will tell us we have zero dollars and then if we go back to our um, money.json account you'll see that it saved my account and i have zero balance that's all for this video i hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure you smash that thumbs up button down below and uh, we will be working on more features for our economy like paying other users and gambling and all sorts of cool stuff in future episodes so stay tuned subscribe for more and i'll catch you guys later